Yo, my peoples, what's up? Welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop. Jason here, and today I have an app review for you for Hero Realms, the digital version available on iOS and Android. This one is from Wise Wizard Games. It is a dueling card game uh, in which we are going to be building our decks, deck builder style, and going back and forth until we can defeat our opponents. It is based on the physical version of Hero Realms, which I have the big adventure box. I have all the content for it, and I intend to continue getting content for it as long as they release it. So I clearly like the physical version. Let's see how the digital version matches up. Disclaimer, I was given an access code for Hero Realms Digital Edition. At its core, Hero Realms is a deck building game. You're going to start with a very simple hand of cards that generate two resources, money and combat. You're going to use the money to acquire advanced cards from a center row. Once you acquire a card, new cards are going to fill in, a dynamic river style. So you're going to have different combinations as you go from game to game. The cards are going to do different things. They're going to increase your card draw, allow you to cull your weaker cards, or generate lots and lots of the good stuff, money and combat. The trick to deck building Hero Realms is color matching. The more you can match colors in your cards, the more powerful your deck is going to be. You use your other resource, combat, to make direct damage against your opponent, and hopefully you reduce them to zero before they reduce you to zero. As you can see, Hero Realms Digital does a lot to recreate the feel of the basic game. The cards all look the same. The layout is such that you can read most of the cards and especially see the numbers and how clear the combat and money values are. So I thought that was well done there. Uh, my one slight uh, thing that I want to comment on is the background. It uh, has it in that dungeon area. It could be a little bit busy. I think there's so much going on in Hero Realms. You want to go for the cleanest design possible. But for the most part, I was able to tell what's going on. On top of the basic deck building mechanism, Hero Realms adds two aspects, heroes and monsters. For the heroes, you have to buy separate character packs. But once you do, it opens up tremendous options in terms of playing a cleric or a wizard or a thief. Classic D&D classes. Uh, you get improved starting decks. You get a paths of leveling up skills and other powers. Uh, they do a lot to play with the system and give you a sense that you can level a real character within this very simple engine. If you buy the Ruins of Thandar expansion, or one of the other story-based expansions for Hero Realms, you're gonna have the opportunity to fight monsters in an ongoing campaign. So far, each of the physical campaigns offers three different scenarios. And within those scenarios, there's branching paths. Once you encounter something, it is a unique experience. They really push the mechanisms to make sure that the monsters offer different challenges, different ways to beat them, and also, after every adventure, you got a leveling point, so it continued to progress your character. I thought the physical version did a great job with the campaign and with every monster feeling very different. In terms of different options in the digital app, they actually give you a lot uh, right off the jump. So you can play online if you have the gamer tag of your friends, or you can play versus the AI. So the different modes, you have the duel, which is your regular fight. You have the pit fight, which is interesting. Uh, you can power level your character one fight at a time. However, if you lose, you lose the character. Uh, interesting push-pull there. And then you have the campaign. You would choose your character. You see I have Serena, my cleric. You can also pick any of the characters. If you unlock the full game, you get access to fighter, wizard, any character that you want. When you actually select the campaign, as you can see, there are nine adventures, not three. So you're going to level much more slowly. You would be around at level four by the time you finish the campaign. And the fights are much different. In the physical version, they were very much reimagined. Here, it's much more simplified. They're kind of remixed versions of regular battles. I imagine they did that for access purposes. Not everyone who buys a digital version will be familiar with the physical version. For me, I really miss my sloth monster. So that's my comparison between the physical game and the digital implementation of Hero Realms. For the most part, it's a one-on-one -on -one transfer. If you enjoy the physical game, you're probably going to enjoy the app as well. The biggest difference being that campaign. As I said in the overview, I feel like they try to mold the experience to the medium. 
uh, you're not going to play nine games of the physical version as one character. Uh, it's just, you know, uh, you're going to have to set it up and there's a lot of rules to learn, especially with the more involved bosses. So they really packed it in. You're three, you're in, you're out. A very satisfying experience for what that is in that medium. In the app version, you can just play and play and play. So they stretch things out. You're not going to get that leveling satisfaction after every adventure. And I found that I wasn't as satisfied with the mechanical experience. I'm not going to spoil things, but for the most part, you're not going to get the level of innovation that you would in the physical version yet. For this initial batch, they may have just you know tried to go for a wider audience. There's plenty of room for further innovation. As you saw, there's lots of windows, <laughs> lots of room for more windows and more adventures. So we'll see what happens as the app develops. But I'm very happy with it. I'm probably going to keep playing the physical version myself, but I'm happy to have uh, the option for the app. So go ahead and check that out if that is of interest to you. This is Jason reminding you that we will see you at the next stop.